Yes, I'm David Ellsworth and I'm a professor of plant ecophysiology in the Hawkesbury Institute of the University of Western Sydney. Um, and my role is as a scientific leader of the Uke Face experiment. Physiology is, is kind of how things work. Uh, a physiologist is kind of like an auto mechanic of the plant world, if you like to think about it that way. An ecophysiologist does that. Well, this is the only experiment of its kind in, in uh, uh, mature native bush in Australia. I'm a specialist in the process of plant photosynthesis and uh, environmental impacts on photosynthesis. And more broadly, I study climate change and its impact on native Australian vegetation. Well, right now we're sitting in an atmosphere that would be um, about 0.05% uh, CO2 or 540 parts per million CO2. And that's about 45% uh, uh, higher than, than it currently is in the out of doors in uh, background natural conditions. I think it's important that everyone understands that science is collaborative. And that means that there's a, a whole community of scientists that are working together here. And uh, so what we have are, um, we have these uh, baskets that are collecting the uh, uh, dead leaves, or the litter leaves that fall from the tops of the trees. And we have plots for soil monitoring. The yellow plot that you see right here is for soil monitoring. The uh, instrumentation on the tree over there is, is for measuring growth and water use of the trees. And those are all projects that are being done by um, people that work in collaboration in this experiment. And we all use bits of each other's data to uh, support what we're finding. Well, there's a huge implication for elevated carbon dioxide in terms of uh, where we're headed globally and what kind of atmosphere we can expect and what kind of climate we can expect. Carbon dioxide has a very strong uh, forcing action essentially on climate. So uh, we're trying to understand the future that we might actually um, participate in in about 35 years time in this, in this experiment.